Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not. But the unjust knoweth no shame. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere occupants. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gods of people here forbear judgment, man. Just looking at the news, just looking at all this judgment that went forth. And it's just a little bit that the news is showing us. Look, man. You can't even fathom all the judgment that went on last night. People got judged last night, man. I mean, judgment went forth as lightning, man. That's why knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. The Lord won't play with nobody last night. Judgment went out. You know, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, Yahweh by Shemel Shah, took care of them last night. But two thirds of these heathen, man, they got showed no judge last night, man. All kind of car crashes, shootings, you name it, man. Looking at the news right now, that's, that's why the scriptures say, watch as well as pray. You got to know what's going on. Because judgment is going forth. Let's get that again. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. The just Lord, the righteous Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Not Allah, not Buddha. Not said to my real, not none of that nonsense. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning, do he bring his judgment to light, man. Somebody got caught up in an earthquake last night. Somebody got caught up in a storm. Somebody got caught up in a home invasion, a shooting, a stabbing. A plane crash, a stabbing, something, something, an untimely death, man. Every morning, do he bring his judgment to light? He filleth not, but the unjust know no shame. So these people gonna continue to continue on in their wickedness, and then they get get judged, man. These people are going to continue on in their madness until they get judged. Like the scriptures say, because sentence against an evil work wasn't executed speedily, their mind is fully set to continue to do evil. But the Lord got something to stop all that. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 12. For men also knoweth not his time. You don't know when that judgment going to come, but we just read judgment goes forth every day, every morning, every hour, every second. He fell if not. Walk circumspectly because judgment is going forth. Man also knoweth not his time. As the fishes that are taken in the evil net. And as the birds that are caught in the snare. So are the sons of men snared in the evil time and a bad time. We're living in some deadly serious bad times right about now. And anybody can get it. That's why you walk around like you're walking on eggshells, man. All right? So are the sons of men snared in the evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them, meaning that judgment. <laughs> when that judgment falleth suddenly upon you, then what? Then what? What are you going to do then when that judgment fall on you? Seek, seek the Lord. That's the that's pretty much the message every morning. It's seeking your how by Shimei Shai. This is Amos chapter 3. A short little lesson through the spirit. About to head out of the few. Judgment, judgment went forth. One dead after overnight shooting here and there. You name it, man. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get that Matthew. I'm gonna get this Amos, but I'm gonna get that Matthew, because that's what the Lord says coming. That's what you see happening right about. Matter of fact, it ain't even coming. It's here. It's here. This Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil, meaning bad times, aka judgment? Shall there be evil in the city? And the Lord have not done it. Everything you see going forth, the Lord is doing it. We give all credit to Yahweh by Shabbat Shabbat. We don't get credit to nobody else. St. Matthew chapter 10. 
Verse 34, think not that I've come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, aka judgment, destruction. I have come to set a man at various against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foes shall be they of their own household, man. AKA judgment. Government reported kidnaps 30 students overnight. You know. People being kidnapped. Look, that's judgment from the Lord. Once again, Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall them shall the trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid. Look, we're giving you the warning from your high by Shem. I'm trying to judgment is going forth. Get your act together. Shall there be evil in a city where ain't nobody afraid? And look, until judgment come. All kind of plagues, all kind of pandemics. <laughs> you name it, man. And, and people getting caught up in it every day. Why? Because they don't fear the Lord. When you, when you fear the Lord, there's refuge, there's safety, there's protection. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemiah, Rashi, have not done it? Every, every morning, the Lord bring his judgment. You got, you got Jake just clowning around. Jake just, just clowning around. Ain't he taking heed to what the Lord is saying? The Lord been talking. The Lord been talking. So when, when the Lord gets tired of talking, he start judging. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 8. You know, 2nd Ezra chapter 8, verse 3. There'll be many created, but few shall be saved, meaning a whole lot of judgment is going to go forth. Jump into the 50th verse. 2nd Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries, that misery is judgment. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time, either in this age, shall dwell in the world. Because they have walked in great pride. So this is why all this judgment is going forth, man. All kind of judgment is going forth. Let's get some rock. You know, we, we, we threaten you with the words of your how about Shimei What does it say? Sarah chapter 40. Verse 9, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood, judgment. Okay? The, the flood brought forth judgment. That, that, that's exactly what it did. The flood brought forth judgment. Look, what we read earlier, the unjust north no shame. Our people say, no matter how bad it get, you know what I'm saying, you're not going to stop me from committing wicked acts. Amos 9, 10. All the sinners of my people, sin is transgression of the law, right? All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. And then once again, the sword represents destruction. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil, in these bad times, aka judgment, Shall not overtake nor prevent them, man. <laughs> but 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 you you just lied to yourself though, because judgment is gonna stop you in your tracks, right? Judgment is gonna stop you in your tracks, man. All right. You know what? That's the thing about it. You can't outrun judgment. You you cannot outrun judgment. This is uh, Isaiah twenty nine six. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. With thunder, judgment, and with earthquake, judgment, and great noise, with storm and tempest, judgment, and the flame of the virus fire. It, it was a whole lot of house fires this morning. You know, forest fires included. A whole lot went down this morning alone. And, and, and who did it? The Lord. All right? What, what was it called? Judgment. But the wicked of the earth, don't say, look, they, they didn't realize who was bringing it. They, they didn't realize it. Galatians 6, 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh by Shemia was shy is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, man. You reap what you sow. You out there doing the bidding of Yahweh by Shemia was shy to the best of your ability. Hey, look, you get a good reward. You out there committing wicked acts. The judgment is going to come, you know? Something bad is going to happen to you. Hebrews 10, 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Remember, the God of the Bible is controlling everything. Everything, man. 
you know, the, the Lord said, repent, turn it back. He's controlling everything. You can't escape. You'd be better off just turn it back and fear them. That'd be your best bet, Israel, is to turn it back to the Lord. Remember, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. That's what the Lord said. That's why we make videos every morning, every day. This is Deuteronomy chapter 10. Let's see, bear with me. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 17. For the Lord, your power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is the God of gods and Lord of lords, a great power, a mighty, and a terrible, which regardeth not persons nor taketh rewards. So you can't pay the God of the Bible off. You can't pay your how about Shem Yahweh Shai off, man. Do what he commands you to do to the best of your ability and you'll be all right. You don't do it, you know what I'm saying? Look, destruction life at your door. This is my final scripture. I'm gonna wrap it up. Press for time, I gotta go. That's why we're we in the predicament that we're in now, because we went off, so we're still being judged by the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11, Nor therefore the terror of the Lord. We persuade men, we do these videos every day, knowing the terror of the Lord. See, we really know how the Lord gets down, right? 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we persuade men, we threaten you with these words. But we are made manifest unto Yahweh, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience, man. When you hear these words, it's meant to stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance what to do and what not to do. Because look, because judgment is going forth. I, I, I do got one more. <laughs> the Salakia. Got the Sniffles. This is our Psalms. Psalm chapter 145. Psalm chapter 145, verse 5. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, man. All right? Remember, he killeth, he keepeth alive, he woo, he heal. And I will declare thy greatness, man. And that, that's a, starting off with the head of apostles and the elders of great millstone. That's exactly what we do. We declare Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's greatness. And remember Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. You know, judgment is set for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. You can't outrun prophecy there. Anything else, Lord? Let me see. Anything else? Before I wrap it up, this is uh, I, I do got one more. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16, verse 16. For the ungodly that denied to know thee was scorched by the strength of thine arm with strange rains, hell, and showers. They were persecuted that they could not avoid. And through and through fire, where they consume, man. So you, you can't avoid judgment. That's why it's, it's best that we repent before a judgment come upon us, man. I gotta read that again. What's my Solomon? Chapter 16, verse 16. For the ungodly that denied to know thee was scourged, was whooped, man, by the strip of thine arm, with strange rays. Hells and showers, judgment, were they persecuted, right? That they could not avoid, man. All right? You can run from it. So the evils that are about to come ain't going to stop you from committing wicked acts. <laughs> the Lord said you ain't going to be able to avoid these judgments. All right? They were persecuted. They could not avoid. And through fire. Where they consume. So a whole lot of judgment is going forth. Take heed, Israel. Judgment is going forth. The Lord is not playing. 
Judgment don't stop. Shallow walk. 